What if you stopped using soap for 30 days? Would you survive it or would the bacteria win? How soap is produced. When you hold a bar of soap in your hand, smooth and unassuming, it's easy to forget that this little block is the result of centuries of discovery, trial and craft. Soap has become such a normal part of our lives that we hardly notice it. Yet it carries within it a fascinating story of chemistry, history, and the human pursuit of cleanliness. To understand how soap is produced, we need to look at both its humble beginnings and its refined modern form. The first soaps may have been discovered by accident. Imagine ancient people cooking meat over a fire where animal fat dripped onto ashes. When rain fell, a strange mixture formed in the soil, and those who touched it noticed that it seemed to clean their hands better than plain water. What they stumbled upon was the principle of saponification, the very same reaction used today. Ashes from wood contain alkaline substances, and when combined with fat or oil, they can transform into a substance that lifts dirt and grease away. Over time, people learned to replicate this on purpose, mixing rendered animal fat with lye water made from plant ash. The result was crude, uneven, often harsh on the skin, but it worked. As civilizations grew, so did the art of soap making. In Babylon, records from thousands of years ago show recipes of oils and ashes boiled together. The Romans famously spread the habit of public baths, where soap and water symbolized not only cleanliness, but also culture and civility. In the Middle Ages, despite times of decline in knowledge, soap making survived as a craft, passed on through families and guilds. Olive oil in the Mediterranean, tallow in Northern Europe, palm oil in Africa, and later in the colonies, all these fats became the foundation for different kinds of soaps. But how exactly is soap produced today? The principle has not changed, though the scale and precision have. Soap is born from the marriage of fats and alkali. In factories, vats of oils, coconut, palm, olive or animal fats are heated carefully. Into these oils, lye, which is a strong alkaline solution of sodium hydroxide, is slowly introduced. As the mixture stirs and bubbles, a remarkable chemical transformation occurs. The molecules of fat, which normally repel water, are broken apart and reassembled into new molecules called salts of fatty acids, what we recognize as soap. Each of these molecules has two sides, one that clings to oil and another that clings to water. This dual nature is what makes soap so effective. It can grab onto grease and then wash it away with a simple rinse. Once the saponification is complete, the thick mixture is poured into molds and allowed to harden. After curing for several weeks in traditional methods or being quickly processed in modern factories, the solid slabs are cut into neat bars. At this stage, many producers add fragrances, colors, or moisturizing ingredients like glycerin, which is often retained in higher quality soaps. Some are made gentle and smooth for skin, others are left strong for laundry or heavy cleaning. Yet whether perfumed with lavender or kept plain and white, every bar of soap shares that same ancient heart. Oil and ash transformed into something greater. The process can also take liquid form. Liquid soaps are made with potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide, giving them a softer, gel-like consistency. This discovery allowed for bottles of hand soap and body wash that dominate modern bathrooms. Industrial production has gone even further producing synthetic detergents that work in hard water or specialized cleaners for medical use. Still, the essence of soap remains unchanged, a tool designed to make us clean, harnessing a reaction built into the natural order of things. The significance of soap goes beyond chemistry. Throughout history, communities that embraced cleanliness fared better against disease. The simple act of washing hands with soap saves countless lives every day, protecting children, preventing plagues, and reducing the spread of invisible threats. In the 19th century, when doctors first realized that hand washing before surgery could save patients, soap became more than a household item. It became a weapon against death. Today, organizations promote soap around the world, reminding us that something so ordinary is, in fact, extraordinary. When we look at a bar of soap, we see only the surface. But behind it lies the story of ashes and oils of human curiosity and survival, of factories filled with giant kettles and workers shaping blocks that will travel across the globe. It is a story of transformation, where the unclean becomes clean, where something as messy as fat and as harsh as alkali combine into a gentle cleanser. And perhaps that is why soap feels almost symbolic, 
a daily reminder that washing away dirt is possible, that renewal and purity are within reach, and that even the most ordinary objects carry within them the traces of human history and the wisdom of nature.